Hey tires, Darren here with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tackling a fly called the Bolton Special, originated and designed by Denny Bolton out of British Columbia. This pattern comes from a new book put out by the Totem Fly Fishers for their 50th anniversary celebration called 50 Years, 50 Flies. This is fly number 15 in the book. This is a steelhead pattern that was designed somewhere in the 1960s and originally tied for the Capilano River system. It was intended to be fished on a full sinking line or a sinking tip for steelhead, salmon, and trout. Alright, let's try this one up. Alright, let's get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm using a Mustad L87 um, 6 or 3665A. That's the in the signature series. We're going to be tying on a size 4 today. I'm going to be using a black 6 aught thread from Superfly. But any 6 aught thread should be just fine. Alright, we'll start by tying on just behind the head. The first material we're going to use is some flat mylar tinsel, the gold silver. This is a size number 10. This is the Uni product. And I'm just going to start by tying with the gold side facing out. I'm just going to seat that in my material clip. And next we're going to use a medium sized uni French gold oval. So this will be for the ribbing on the fly. And I'll tie that in along the side as well. We'll tie that down to the just the start of the bend of the hook here. We're going to tie in a few brown hackle fibers. Just got a neck hackle here. Just going to pull out maybe half a side's worth. And just want to grasp those at the base. And we'll measure that a little bit past the bend of the hook. Do a pinch wrap just to secure those, then we'll wrap forward. One thing I like to do to kind of get rid of the bulk is just do uh, cut, a cut a few fibers, wrap the, f the thread forward. This helps kind of taper the tail material so you don't have a big bump where your where your tail material ends. All right, we'll just wrap that to the head. I'm going to put a half hitch or two. And I'm going to get my bobbin rest out and I'm going to put the thread on that. All right, so we're going to wrap this so that the silver side is out. So just get our first wrap, make sure everything stays in position. And we'll put a little bit of pressure on this flat mylar. And we'll just wrap forward. You wanna do slight overlapping turns so that your material doesn't kink and that it creates a nice smooth body. And we'll roll this all the way up to the head. 
and you want to make sure you keep constant pressure on that mylar so that it doesn't unravel. We'll catch that on both sides and trim off the excess. And now we'll wrap the oval tinsel up. So the pattern calls for either gold or silver. I like to, if I'm using a tinsel body, I like to put a contrasting color on there. So I've chosen the gold to go with. We'll tie that off at the head. Wrap it back, lock it in place. This pattern calls for a red throat. So I'm using a grizzly red that I had laying around. It will add a little bit of uh, color variation to the throat. So I've just stripped off a few fibers. I'll turn my hook upside down. We'll just tie those in on the underside. Then we'll trim away the extra. Alright, next we're going to put a wing on this fly. This one calls for a three colored wing of white, yellow, and furnace hackle. So I'm going to start with the white. I'm going to tie these in separately. Um, I suppose you could tie this as a constructed wing, like a, a rangely style wing, but we're going to do this separate, each each wing color separate. So we're going to start off by measuring this. So I want the wing to come a little bit past the tail. So measure that on the hook. It's a little bit long come back a few fibers. So what I do is I usually just strip off a couple so I've got a nice tie-in point. I'm going to tie these in one at a time. I'm going to tie them so that they're overlapping each side. You can try and tie them in on the top but they tend to turn around a little bit so rather than tying it straight on top I'm gonna tie it a little bit on the side here I'm gonna reseat this so that it sits on the other side Right now we'll take our yellow and we'll just measure that against the white hackle that we've got. And the other side. I'll clean up all these wraps at the end. We'll take in our furnace. This kind of gives a final look to the wing and it has a nice strong barring in the in the middle of the fly.
All right, so that's her final feather for the wing. These can be tricky, so don't beat yourself up if you are having problems with them. You want to trim those stems out as much as you can without cutting the thread. And after you got everything secured, you can fix that wing a little bit just by twisting it in place. You can finish the fly there, or you can go one step further and add a jungle, jungle cock eye. We'll do that today. So I just stripped the fluff off the base. Couple wraps and I'll fold back the stem. The stems are really fragile on this jungle cock, so you wanna make sure that it's got a good foothold. Tie in the other side. Then we'll pull the stem over just to lock it into place. We'll add a whip finish. Then we can glue this streamer up and Go fishing this afternoon. There you have it, the Bolton Special. Keep a hook in your vise.